and the WW is warm white. 24 volts. I went for the 24 volts option because um, there's less risk of any drop in voltage for extending the, the run. At the moment it's 5 meters, but I can extend um, this run up to probably about 10 meters off, off the same uh, transformer. The 24 volt can also be cut every 100 mil, so you can cut it to size and then you can join on with these little clips here. So they're a solid temporary fixing really. So after you cut this with the scissors here, just make that cut and then you put the clip on there, squeeze it down and it punches the, the small metal um, a small copper a little piece of metal there and just, just perforate and pierce into the uh, waterproof IP7 protective gel over the top of the terminals there so you can extend that you can cut it join it um, I've also got some five core um, RGBW cable here for running from the transformer so I can extend the distance from the transformer across to the ship of LEDs it comes with the remote control as well and the power pack the 20, 24 volt power pack um, it's important to know because I'm changing the power pack so that I can, uh, it can be controlled from a dimmer switch I've uh, ordered a separate transformer so it's important to know what sort of wattage this produces. Um, it's, it's actually 16 watts per meter. So the power pack for five meters, you want to be looking at, at a 100 watt dimmable um, power pack or um, transformer. Uh, they're also called a, a driver as well. So you can type in any of those three words to look for something to power these. So the driver that I've ordered is a 24 volt. The one I've got is actually 150 watt output because I do plan on extending this to up to about up to seven meters. Um, I'm going to be using this for going around a doorway, uh, internal doorway. I'm going to recess it into the, um, the paneling that sets around the architrave. So I have tested it. I have looked at how it works, it does work really well. Um, I'm going to be using this 16mm square trunking, cable trunk, trunking from, I think it's from Screwfix. Um, all I need to do is a um, double sided um, 3M uh, insulation foam thing or a sticky back foam thing there that down I'll probably use some screws as well to fix it to the wall uh, but the important thing is that this plastic with it being so thin is very much uh, translucent so the light it does uh, diffuse the light and when the, the LED is illuminated the LED strips illuminated inside here it tends to just look like one solid color so it looks kind of like a neon type um, what you do have to look out for though, because this is only a, a trunking or a conduit, it does have uh, it does have some writing on it. So you'll just have to cut this part out. It comes in a three meter length anyway, so you, if you, I'm just using mine for, for doorways. So obviously the doorway is only going to be 2.1 2 at the most. So I can afford to just eliminate these, this text. The text will So this is it all in place. What I do need to do is bring the trunking back out of the, the little recess here and put some, probably use some um, fire rated insulation foam, spray it up, up into this recess first and then that will in turn pack out the trunking 
so that the front of it is level with the the fascia or the front of the um, the architrave we've got here. At the moment it's set in and it's a bit wonky so I need to bring it out with the, the fire foam. It's important to use fire foam just in case. It's only a pound or two extra. Um, so this will all need neat, neat to ning up once I've secured the, um, the trunking in there properly. So the extension cable goes behind all this alcatrave right down to the floor. It goes around the back of this bottom piece here, around there, around there, and then you can see there's the extension cable, five and one, before joining to the bottom of that. For joining to the bottom of this strip, the strip then goes around the door and does it the same at the bottom of that side. So far, 
we've got the RGBW um, strip running up and across most of the door. I have run out of the five meter length, so I have ordered another five meter length to join onto there. It's going to stop at the bottom. I've got a, a coupling there to continue the power along the extension cable. The five in one extension cable which runs behind the skirting board and then over to the next doorway. Um, this extension cable will run up to the top of the door frame and then I will have another short section of the RGBW strip just to go across the top there. So it will look very similar to the one, I, the one that I have above the garage pedestrian side access door. Okay, so there is, obviously it's the, um, the RGBW strip, but at the moment the infrared um, isn't working too well. So what I need to do is buy a radio, a radio frequency, so an RF remote control and controller to wire in just before the, the driver so that I can access the, um, the colour changer, the colour changing driver from anywhere in the house as opposed to just pointing it at the infrared, the little, the small black infrared um, receiver. So with the radio frequency, you can change the colour from anywhere in the house, but with the infrared, you have to point it directly at it, just like you, you would with the oil remote control for your television. Um, right, so closer look. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I will probably need to turn the lights off for you to be able to see. But the strip on the side of the door um, I told you earlier on that it will look kind of like a neon glow once it's inside of this trunking. There is going to be more panelling on the side of this door, so it will hide this side and the light will then just be omitting from the front of the conduit and it will just project across the door 